This is Stacy with Printware Magazine speaking with Taylor Landisman of Lawson Screen and Digital Products about automatic presses. Thanks for coming, Taylor. Of course. Thank you for talking. With Absolutely. Me. How does a person know if they should buy an automatic press? Um, if you're looking for automatic presses, you really want um, to increase your production rate okay. or grow. When you get an automatic press, when you go from a manual to automatic, you can expect to double or triple your production speed. Wow. So it's okay. a good way to grow or you know increase your production, move product a little bit quicker. Okay, good. Um, on that note, is automation good for everybody? It is good for everyone as long as you get the right press. So you want to make sure it's a press that you're comfortable operating. Okay. It's simple to use that parts are easily accessible and you know you really want someone that provides 24-7 technical support okay. okay. in case you're printing after hours. Absolutely. Okay. And then what are some of the hidden costs people might find when they go to an automatic? I'm not sure if there's hidden costs, but there are certainly things to consider. Okay. So the biggest one is when you start printing with an automatic, because you're increasing your production, you have to make sure you have a dryer that keeps up. Okay. You can only print as quickly as you can dry. Right. right. So you have to make sure that you can dry quick. Also, sometimes people, their exposure unit isn't set up to handle the 2331 frame size, oh, okay. which is the most popular for automatics, so you might have to get a bigger exposure unit. Okay. So Those are the two biggest considerations. Okay. So maybe some additional costs in addition to the automatic Correct. Itself. You might need some equipment upgrades. Okay. Okay. Um, are some people better off than just jobbing out or contracting the work versus purchasing an automatic? It depends. Um, if you are doing a very technical print mm -hmm. that you don't do often, that you don't get those jobs a lot, okay. then it might be a better idea to contract it out. Okay. Further, if you don't, if your um, shop doesn't have the knowledge on how to manually print, mm -hmm. sometimes it's actually easier to automatic print because there's no skill involved with automatic printing. Okay. So less technical details exactly. to figure out. Okay. Taylor, can you explain for me the differences between manual application of pre-treat versus automatic application for uh, DTG? Sure. So when you go to apply pre-treat manually, mm -hmm. you either there's two major ways of doing that, either with a foam roller or a Wagner spray gun. Okay. The problems with those is you won't lay down a consistent application. You either get you get some layers that are heavier. And okay. other spots will be lighter. Sure. And when you go then to print, you notice that in the actual print itself, you okay. have certain color areas that are denser or more vibrant mm -hmm. versus others. And okay. And you make the switch to automatic spraying, you get a consistent spray, so your print then is consistent itself. Okay. Taylor, what should people look for in an automatic pretreatment sprayer? Well, you want to really look for ease of use. Um, ability to get inside and clean it out is important. Okay. The most important part of any pretreat sprayer is the spray nozzle or tip. Okay. You want to make sure that you can quickly t change that, take it in and out to clean it. Okay. So you want to look for a pretreat sprayer that has an instant twist on, twist off nozzle. Okay. So you can easily change it out if need be or okay. clean it when you're done spraying for the day. Okay, so in regards to cleaning those spray pretreatment systems, mm -hmm. what's a typical schedule like? How often should you be cleaning those out? We recommend when people are done pretreating for the day to mm -hmm. go ahead and flush your system out with distilled water. Okay. That way you just always keep it clean and you always keep it ready to go. Okay. A lot of people when they make the switch from manual to automatic pretreat mm -hmm. spraying, they don't always realize that you can pretreat a batch and leave it on the shelf. Okay. So there is a shelf life of between six to eight months of uh, pretreat, like for example, like image lock, okay. can sit on a shelf for up to a year and still be ready to print. Taylor, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. It's always fun coming to the MBM shows.